at either side, you'll see that they're all angled out. There's a little gap between each one. I don't have my camera with me. This is how big your film's going to be. Well, well. Can you imagine our film on that? <laughs> <laughs> I've always been wondering how cinema and all that works. Now you know. <laughs> It's interesting, isn't it? And then we go through the vines. Wow. And uh, what idea? Oh, look at that. I love that. Emily, that's brilliant. That's a good thing for the monkey's point of view. Isn't it? Yeah, the monkey's point of view. What was the idea with it? Um, Mrs. Jones walking through the forest. Yeah. Oh, very good. Oh, and the opposite to that is this beautiful drawing. Uh, and um, and what's the idea for this? Well, um, Mrs. Jones and her team are looking up to the leopard stuck in the tree that's trying to get down. Mm. Oh, there's a leopard. Mm -hmm. Wow. I like that because it's like the first time you see it, you don't really see it, it's just disguised and then you sort of... Now that's a nice thing because it's like we don't need to zoom in all the time, it's nice to hold on that and you see it come into light or just move a bit and your eye goes towards it. Where? Oh, so lots of things hiding in this picture, like that. So we're going to use the sand at the base. Now I'm old and boring and I started to stain it green. But we looked at some of your pictures, especially Emily's, where's Emily? And you have that beautiful orange and very vibrant colours. So we now think we might have to stain the sand that sand a different colour. So in my car I have 120 kilograms of sand that needs staining. And so we're going to put that all over here and we're going to make it into hills. And in the middle we're also going to put a river. So we're going to need boulders and things taking. And then, do you remember when we went to the museum? We, we looked at that crown of thing where you stood and anything that was uh, blue. Yeah, I think William had a blue t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. We went all transparent. You see the Teletubbies through you. We're going to do the same. So at the back there, we're going to put a big piece of blue material. And we're going to be able to use that to project other pictures. Good stuff. And down, and we're going to change the shutter speed. Move that up a notch. Okay, and another tree, please. Who's next? Over there, please. Yeah. Yes. Whacking your hair everywhere. Good going, yeah. <laughs> Looking good. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, do we so professionally? <laughs> it's a hummingbird! We've never seen a hummingbird before. Hello. Well, um, as you can see, it's, uh, it's just finally now compiling out. That's putting all the bits of animation that you've done, putting the moles all together uh, to make the uh, finished piece. And we've also already got some of the backgrounds in. So where there was the blue screen, we've got a Got, um, got a background, and there's a background coming up in a second actually as it's, uh, as it's rendering out. So all this blue will be replaced. Still got that shot to do. Um, but uh, one or more shots are, uh, are, are completed. I uh, saw some of you at uh, your school the other day. And uh, when we recorded the music there, it was just in uh, chunks of 10, 15 seconds or so. Um, some of them a bit longer. Uh, but I've brought those uh, away and have matched
different pieces. So like there's a flute section that's gone on part of the, 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 the animation and the shaman bit with the, uh, the drumming. Do you really think we wafted away your evil spirits? And the, uh, the, the recorder section that we've used in the, um, in the deforestation. So I've matched those up, but I've taken other bits to link those to those together. So like when we've got the thunderstorm, there's a roll on the timpani, but I've taken a cymbal as well to, to give us a thunder flash. Spooky. So basically I've used what you've done, but matched it together to the pictures and hopefully it produces a continuous and interesting uh, background. Terrific. Um, and, and can you tell us something about um, the 5.1 mix, because we're, we're doing surround sound. How, how are you doing that? How are you doing that? Okay. Uh, well, first of all, one of the things, if you remember at the school, I had the microphone in the middle of the room. So I was able to record your instruments all around the microphone. So when that gets played back in the, uh, in the cinema, it will sound like you're sat in the middle of the room amongst all the instruments. So that's one thing. And then we, I'm also using it to effect. So in the beginning, uh, when uh, Miss Jones is talking um, about the noises and things like that, we start that noise, but we're only starting it at the front of the, uh, of the cinema. Can you imagine hearing all the insects, all the birds, all the animals, all the rain drip, drip, dripping all night and all day? And then when we see the, the pictures come to full life uh, and you're in the rainforest, then I've brought in the surround, which is the back speakers as well. So it feels like you're actually there uh, as part of, the, uh, as part of the, the visual effect. You've got a sound effect as well.